It's uh, Sunday, July 14, 2019. I'm doing my testosterone shot prescription. Um, it's a day late. I've just been kind of preoccupied with stuff. Um, but things are going well, and uh, yeah, I got to go hiking, which was fun. And I just got back outside, it's been really hot out, um, and I'm still doing a lot of uh, skateboarding, I'm trying to at least get in an hour a day just for exercise, I'm not running so much, I'm just focusing on skateboarding, I'm learning how to do that, which is something, something I've always wanted to do. So I did my drop with the, where's the power connection? Um, here, here's one. So I use these uh, 18 gauge uh, uptake lure lock syringes to do the uptake of the prescription testosterone oil. The one I do is called Delatestral. And it's uh, made by, I believe it's a Canadian company. The label's covering, the, my prescription label's covering the Company. I think it's called Vare from they are V something. <laughs> oh, maybe it's on here. And I can't read it, so I have to get new glasses. No, we can't focus. Sorry, <laughs> can't focus. And then my injection needle. I could just change the tip. It's a 22 gauge, and I just pushed it up until one little drop come out, came out, and that's where we lose a bit. For uh, I always like take that little drop, put it on my finger, and rub it on my throat. I have this belief that it'll help with um, changing my voice, having it on my voice box. Um, and normally I would think that's kind of a myth, but uh, because there's an option of taking this in a patch, which is like a, um, just kind of a band-aid thing, and then they put the medication in the center patch, and you put that on your skin. A friend of mine had to take that because uh, when you inject it with a syringe into your muscle and it goes into your bloodstream, it's really highly processed by uh, your liver, um, and they don't offer it in a pill form as far as I'm aware anymore. There was a time that they did offer it in a pill form as they do for uh, estrogen when you're uh, postmenopausal. Um, but that passing through, being processed through your stomach is really harmful. Um, so I've heard. So uh, the easiest way to get this prescription in Canada um, or the most common method that is prescribed is through injection, intramuscular injection, um, where it sits into the muscle tissue. And if you can get the patch, but um, I've heard it's $150, and I think that lasts maybe six months. But I, I'm not sure, and that was according to a friend of mine who had to take it because he was having a, I think he had a cancer scare. Um, so just to be on the safe side, to not process it so much in your body, um, he did a, uh, I think it's called dermologically, dermically, which means der derma is skin, in scientific terms. Yeah, so I take it this way. And it's fully covered and um, under the Ontario Health Insurance Act. Okay. And um, yeah, it should be fully covered otherwise, too, um, if you have to take another form of the medication because of um, health reasons. So that's what I know right now. <laughs> Um, my memory's kind of faded on all the education I did seven years ago, so um, 
And I didn't talk so much in those previous videos. And I do have recordings of every single testosterone injection I've ever taken in my life. But I've yet to uh, post them on YouTube just because I'm sidetracked with some other things in my life, but I will get to it eventually. I've also recorded my um, chest surgery. I've had, I have a flat chest now because I've had um, a double mastectomy, which means I had both breasts removed surgically. Um, and I have uh, a video of that as well, so I hope to get to those topics soon. Um, I'm just really focused on my own healthcare right now. So if you have any questions, remember to uh, click the link to subscribe and leave a comment. Um, or that would be over here. Over there. <laughs> leave a comment uh, if you have any questions or if you just want to say hey or introduce yourself. Uh, and I'm, I'm really open to um, chatting. YouTube now has like a messaging option. So. Um, if you need somebody to talk to or have questions, feel free to message me there or through Instagram. I'm open to one-on-one um, -on -one discussions with other trans or trans questioning or um, non-binary or uh, people who have questions about testosterone in general. Or a lot of guys take testosterone in this form um, because of gonadal issues. Maybe their body doesn't naturally produce enough testosterone. And I'm also lately debating having the hysterectomy, but the scary side of that is um, if this isn't available, then that means there's no hormones in me. No, no sex hormones, estrogen, or testosterone in my body if I have to stop taking that and I have a hysterectomy and hysterectomy, which means they remove ovaries. I still have ovaries in my body. Um, if I have them removed, I possibly won't have to take as much testosterone. I take 0.5 cc, as you can see. But I've been doing this for so long that it's not really a big issue. And um, it's scary to think if this is not available to me at some point in my life, uh, the estrogen won't take over to regulate the hormones in my body, um, the other hormones in my body. Uh, last I checked, in 2011, there were over 200 named hormones, and that doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it's endocrinologists and scientists know exactly what those hormones do, it just means they found them, they found a different molecule that is a hormone molecule that uh, they put a name onto, and there's still yet many, many to be discovered. So there are hormones for, say, uh, melatonin regulation when you wake up and go to sleep when you feel tired. Um, there are hormones for everything: your skin color, pain levels, how awake and alert you feel, um, your metabolism. There are hormones that tell your body you're hungry. Um, they tell your body.